Greetings. It is uh, January 15, 2017. I'm with a uh, proof of an etching in aqua tint I did in the late 1970s. If the date is correct on this particular proof, uh, in pencil 1979, I would have done this while I was in grad school at the University of Missouri at Columbia. Spatial fantasy number one. I haven't seen a proof of this, and uh, I'm guessing. Uh, close to uh, 30 years. So this particular proof was loaned to me by the Seattle, a Seattle friend who owns this uh, and had, uh, has not framed it and uh, has agreed to um, offer it to an institution um, if one is interested to have it where it would be permanently framed and installed. Hence, I'm not suggesting any art museums where we'll just go into storage, as is the case. It was reproduced once on an exhibition uh, pamphlet, and this must have been 1982 at the uh, three-person show at the Howell Gallery, or Howell Street Gallery, which was on uh, in Seattle's Capitol District, aka Neighborhood, um, a show with a sculptor named Ken Fisher of Portland, and a uh, artist, uh, Lily Eng of um, Seattle, and uh, haven't seen either of them in decades. And the uh, the gallery uh, owner uh, sadly uh, passed on of a heart attack a year or so later. Might have been eighty three or eighty four, and the gallery was then shuttered. I'm not even sure if the location is still there. A number of streets were. Uh, removed a few years ago of all sorts of houses and buildings and what have you to make way for the uh, Capitol Hill light rail station. All that aside, I'm going to uh, move closer here and do a um, uh, clockwise uh, close-in with my uh, iPod camera here. Lower left. Dense uh, aqua tint up there. Same thing on the right. There you have it. Um, I have to look in my edition records book and see if there were any proofs that were printed in color, perhaps uh, two color. Um, and uh, to me, it has a certain sci fi graphic quality to it. I guess the only thing it's missing is like, like from, I think it was in the early 80s when the uh, first Alien movie came out with Sigourney Weaver. So, um, but one doesn't want the sci-fi horror feeling. You think of it as a spatial fantasy. What else could it be? Um, clockworks. I don't know. I'll leave that up to viewers' imaginations. thing in there. There you have it. And of course, it could have been, uh, I don't remember how many proofs were printed, I'll have to look that up for the description text. It was probably just a handful at best. I'll, I'll be surprised if there's a listing of more than five or six. Someone might have uh, framed it for horizontal, home or office, den, library, installation, even upside down. But I don't remember signing any upside down or sideways. So, there you have it. Spatial fantasy, number one, just like I pictured it.